That honestly might have been the best Thursday night game of the year. Just because Joe Buck wasn't calling it. Houston 10. Christmas Eve. Hope you guys had a good um December um Christmas Eve Eve because there was a great game on NFL Network. Uh, there's no football. I don't know why I was on NFL Network. Yeah, I was pretty mad too. Either way though, the Titans ended up coming out against the 49ers on Thursday Night Football last of the year, 2017. 49ers fall eight seven. Still gonna be. For, they're still gonna have the second wild card, but huge loss for them. Titans get a huge win for them. If the Colts lose, they get the division. Or do they wait? No, yeah. If the Colts lose, they get the division tomorrow. So yeah, basically, they'll win the division if the Colts lose tomorrow on Christmas night. We'll get to that in our next video. But first, we gotta go to the, for the 49ers offense. Final score 2017. If you guys can see that. Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo, 26 of 35, 322 touchdowns, two picks. Wasn't great, threw a lot of bad passes, but so threw over 300 and a touchdown. Jeff Wilson, 40 for 45, 3.2 for carry for a touchdown. Debo Samuel, 5 for 32. Uh, Debo Samuel had 9 catches for 159 yards, monster game. Kyle Ushik had a good game, 3 for 45. Same thing with Brandon Ayuk, 4 for, for 40 and a touchdown. Jermichael Lacey, 3 for 26. George Kittle, 2 for 21. Overall, I said for this offense, run the ball for over 200. Obviously, I didn't do that. 40 was minutes offense, and they didn't do that well. First half, I think they, I like what they did. Their opening drive was amazing. They just kept the ball, and they had it for like 8 minutes. They're, they had a really good first drive. I thought they were going to get 40, definitely, with that first drive. But they couldn't sustain it. They got like 36 minutes. So, I will give them a minus. You can't put up 17 points. You were pretty inconsistent. Uh, Debo Samuel, yeah, you can't be the whole offense. Here's the thing about Debo Samuel. Like, sometimes he's calling for the ball, and Jimmy Garoppolo was forcing it to him a little because George Kittle was getting open a lot, and he wasn't getting him the ball. De Debo's a great player and all, but, like, do I call him a top 10 receiver? Honestly, I'll give him 10-11. I'll give him fringe top 10, 11-12-10. That's the question in the thumbnail. I'll answer it. I'll give him 10, maybe. At highest, he's 10. At lowest, he's like 16, 15. He's a good, really good, t amazing player, but he's just not the greatest route runner, as expected, with him being more of a runner. But then, without talking about him, I'll go to the defense. Their defense had four sacks. They actually weren't that bad. But, like, um, who is he? Samson Ebukam had a best game against you can see. Season Contavious Street struggled even though he had a sack. Nick Bose, the same thing. Josh Norman was really bad. Stopped the run three both sacks. I'd say they did that. Like, show the Titans running game. It wasn't anything special. So, honestly, I'll give him an underscore. Like, there is, here's the lie. Um, you can't have Josh, uh, Josh Norman and you can't rely on him to depend to get on me uh, get on a guy like Debo Samuel and uh AJ Brown and expect to succeed. They didn't really use Jimmy Ward right. Yeah, he wasn't awful, but they didn't really use him right. Fred Warner had a good game. Same thing with Jacquez Tart. But they just didn't really play well. Avery Thomas didn't play well. Like their whole defense just didn't play great. But then for Titans, um uh T Tannehill 22 of 29, 209 touchdown, good game. Uh, Jeremy McNichol, 7 for 31, 3 for 22 for Ryan Tannehill. Uh, John Terrell Hilliard, 5 for 20. Dante Foreman, yeah, he had a touchdown, but he was 9 for 17. Not a good game. <clears throat> they didn't really run the ball that much because I'm actually fine with. They didn't really have the ball turn either. And they were down some, most of the game until towards the end. AJ Brown, best coming this season by a lot. He was 11 for 4. No, wait. He had a good game in Indiana Indianapolis. Uh, I don't remember, but he was 11 for 145 at a touchdown. Nick Westbrook, like, had one big catch. Other than that, not really much. Julio just doesn't have it anymore. I'm sorry. Like, I kind of made up my mind about him. 
who knows, maybe he's a monster the rest of the year, maybe monster next year, but he doesn't really seem like he has to. I'm not calling him locked up, he's just not the same player he used to be. Overall, I think this offense actually wasn't that bad. They, only, they ran the ball well when they did, and no turnovers. They didn't really turn the ball either. I'm not giving him a plus, I'll give him an underscore, because they didn't really have the ball a ton. I really didn't like, you can't depend on your defense like that in the playoffs. Great win for them, but their offense is going to be a little better. But then their defense is the reason they won this game. They had two sacks, they got the ball back when they needed it. Two picks, too. I said, um, under 50 yards rushing, uh, they did that. No, they didn't do that. It was close, though. Double Kittle, they, uh, had Zach coming on him the whole game. He was getting open a little, and they do, did have Kevin Byard help out. Like, the only reason they won this game is because Kevin Byard and Zach Cunningham were, were doubling Kittle. He was still getting open sometimes, though. That's the thing. Two plus turnovers, they got two. Under 50 rushing yards, they almost got that. Of course, they're getting a plus. They're the reason they won the game. In a game like this, it's not, it's not on purpose that they played well. Honestly, I think the Titans are in a good position. They just got to fix some things up. I know they're pretty injured, but got to get the ball to Julio Jones. A.J. Brown, top down receiver. Honestly, kind of like Debo, same of 10, 11, 12. He's a little better than um, Debo, but there's so many good receivers in the NFL right now. Like Robert Woods, I don't want to take him over Debo. And here's what. I, honestly, here's the thing. There's so many good receivers in the NFL. I don't like ranking them. That's why I do the tiers. Like, yeah, there's. Five top fives, but other than that, you can't really rank the rest of the guys as better than that player. Yeah, you can clearly say it for some players, but wide receiver is a curious position. It's different for running backs, though. Running backs, it's a lot of stuff. Quarterbacks, same thing. Either way, guys, like a square. I hope you enjoyed that. It's going to be the end of the week 16, last one of the year Thursday Night Football recap. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let's get ready for the Christmas doubleheader special preview. Keys to the game.